Hey guys, look at this. I'm literally typing this command on my PC right now. Open Play Store, search for Telegram, install it, and log in with my Indian phone number. And the moment I hit enter, my phone starts responding on its own. I didn't touch the screen, I didn't tap anything manually. I just typed a simple instruction, and the phone understood it, opened the app, and completing the task like a real person would. What you're seeing is an AI agent controlling a real Android phone by itself. I give the system one sentence in plain English. The AI looks at the phone screen, understands the interface, plans the next action, and executes it using Android Debug Bridge. This isn't a concept demo, and it's not some future promise either. This is running right now on a real phone. The project is called Open Auto GLM. It's an open source phone agent powered by a multimodal vision language model that can actually see and understand your screen. In simple terms, the model can see the phone screen the same way you do and reason about what to do next. The AI opens the app, waits for the screen to load, finds the search bar by itself, taps it, types the query, and gets the job done. And the best part, if the UI changes tomorrow, this still works. Because the AI doesn't follow scripts, it understands the screen. All right, now let's talk about what you actually need to run this. First, you need an Android phone. Almost any modern Android phone will work. Second, you need a computer. If you have a powerful PC with a good GPU, you can run the AI locally. If not, you can simply use online AI model services instead. And last, you need a bit of curiosity and patience. All right, now let's get started. This is the official documentation from AutoGLM. You can always go through it later if you want a deeper, step-by-step -step guide. For now, I'll keep things simple and beginner-friendly. First, we need to download ADB Keyboard. This is an APK file that we'll install directly on our phone. It's required so the AI can type text properly on Android. Next, download the Android platform tools. This is basically ADB and Fastboot. Nothing fancy, just the tools that let your PC talk to your phone. After that, make sure Python is installed on your system. The version should be higher than Python 3.10. In my case, Python 3.13 is already installed, so I'm skipping this step. Once everything is downloaded, extract the Platform Tools folder and open it. Now in Platform Tool folder, at the top, click on the address bar and copy the full path of this Platform Tools folder. Now we need to add this path to the environment variables, so open environment variables on your system. Under User Variables, Find Path, click on Edit, and then add the Platform Tools folder path there. And that's it. Once this is done, ADB will work from anywhere on your PC. Next, let's enable USB debugging on the phone. Don't worry, it's safe and reversible. So, open Settings, then scroll down and tap on About Phone. Next, go into Software Information, and here you'll see an option called Build Number. Just tap on it seven times until you see the message that developer mode has been turned on. Once done, go back to settings and you will see developer options. Just open it. Inside developer options, scroll down, find USB debugging, and turn it on. Now it's time to connect your Galaxy phone to your Windows PC using a good USB cable. As soon as you plug it in, you'll see a pop-up on your phone asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap Allow. Once that's done, let's switch over to the PC screen. Also, download this batch file from the description link. I created this file to automate most of the setup, like installing AutoGLM and setting up the ADB keyboard, so you don't have to do everything manually. Once it's downloaded, just double-click the file to run it. The first thing it does is check whether Python and ADB are installed properly on your system. If everything looks good, it will move to the next step. Now it asks whether your phone is connected and detected. If your device is showing up, just type Y and hit enter. Next, it will install and enable the ADB keyboard on your phone. Here, it will ask for the ADB keyboard APK path. Simply drag and drop the APK file into the terminal window and press enter. After that, it asks whether you want to run the installer. This part is important. When you type Y and press enter, it will automatically clone the AutoGLM repository, create a virtual environment, 
and install all the required dependencies for you. This step can take a few minutes, so just sit back and let it finish. All right, once you see the success message, that's it. The installation is complete. Just copy the final command shown on the screen and press any key to close the window. Now you'll see a new folder called Open Auto GLM. Go ahead and open it. Inside that folder, open a terminal window. Once the terminal is open, paste the environment activation command and run it. At this point, we have two ways to use AutoGLM. The first option is to host the AutoGLM model on your own local or cloud server. The second option is to use an API key from the z.ai website. I'm personally hosting the model on a Google Cloud server, so I won't go deep into model hosting in this video. If you want, I can make a separate video explaining how to host an AI model step by step. In this command, the base URL you see is just my server's IP address and port. If you're using an API key from z.ai, you'll use the command in this format instead. Finally, there are two ways to execute commands on your phone. One is using a wired USB connection, and the other is wirelessly over Wi-Fi. For wireless mode, you just replace the phone's IP address and port. For now, let's keep it simple and copy the wired execution command. First, it will run a quick check to make sure everything is ready. It verifies that your phone is properly connected through ADB, then checks whether the ADB keyboard is installed and enabled on the device, and finally confirms that the AI model API is working correctly. Once all these checks pass, you're good to go. Once everything is ready, the AI starts thinking about the task. It understands what you asked, figures out how to do it step by step, it decides which actions are needed, and then starts executing them on your phone. And that's it. You just saw an AI use a real Android phone like a human by simply understanding the screen and acting on it. If this blew your mind even a little, hit the like button, subscribe for more deep dive Android and AI experiments, and check the links in the description to try this yourself. I'll be sharing more videos like this very soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in next one.